Hi, um, my name is Rick Hines and um, time to put the traps away, the flat traps, and we're going to do some snaring, some fox, coyote, bobcat, uh, I like snaring. Um, I custom make most of my snares and this video is going to show you what to look for and how to hang your snares, uh, what type of snares to use. Uh, We'll begin with the snares. Now what I do is I custom make my snares and here's a fox bobcat snare and what I use is a cam lock and they slide really good and I use uh, 10 gauge wire and I put a ferrule on there and so you can actually slide. This is my tie wire where I tie them up and you can actually slide the wire in what position you want. So if you make your loop now I can pull my wire and I can make the loop the way I want it because I like to kind of hang my snare up so it actually has got to go up over before he slides in and that way if it snows or freezes or anything like that it'll still stay up in consistency the 10 gauge wire I just wrap it around a small tree or something just to hold it branch or brush um, that hold it in spot and I like to position my snares and I'll show you how to do it. Um, snaring is very effective. Uh, right now we have like a 20 inch snow base and so the fox and coyote they trail up really easy, the bobcat and so let's go see if we can find a trail and I'll show you how to set this up. Okay, what I have here is a very defined fox trail and so I want to set a snare up for them. And you can see that I put a couple guide sticks just to kind of guide them through the snare. And so I want to hang my snare. Now what I want to do is make about a 7-8 inch loop. And then I'm going to take my guide wire and I'm just going to wrap it around this to hold it. And this is that number 10 gauge wire I was talking about. And so that's going to hold my snare right where I want. Now see that's going to be perfect for a fox. Now what I want to kind of do is just kind of guide them in a little bit. That's going to be perfect. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take some trapping wire. I'm going to double it up. And then I'm going to wrap it to the base of the tree. And that's all you have to do as far as a fox. Now when he comes through that, and like I said, I keep about two, three inches off the ground. And he should be, there should be no problem how to get a fox out of this snare. And it's about as simple as that. Okay, what I have here is a very well distinguished fox trail. And you can see where he's going up through the woods. And so then I put a 1 16th cam lock snare in his path. And then I run it over and I staple it to the smaller tree. It don't take much hold the red fox. And I just kind of block it off. And this is a cam lock. So it should get them pretty good. And I just keep it just a little bit above the snow. I like the fox like to run with their nose to the ground. And then you can see the well distinguished trail. So we'll see what happens. And now we have a trail where he's going off the road 
down onto the Mississippi River. There's the potlatch dam. And the fox will run up and down the river. And they only got certain trails where they come up and down. Come out of the woods. And now I put a camlock snare, a 116th. Tied it off to a little branch. Just enough to hold the fox. And I put it just a couple inches above the trail. Kind of blocked it off so he guides him in. And we will see how this one goes. And you can see the very defined trails where they run. Then we'll see if this catches anything. set this snare yesterday on a heavily well used fox trail and you can see the results if you set them right. Um, this is with 1 16th cable I use for fox. The cam lock, they hit and they lock right up on their neck and the animals dispatch very quickly. Another beautiful red fox, central Minnesota. and. Just overnight, you set on a nice trail. This is Snaren 101 in Rainer, Minnesota. Okay, what we have is some cat tracks coming across the road, and the cat's got a regular trail going up through the woods, and then I put a snare. And we will see what happens. Check my snares this morning. On a cold morning, it's about 11 below, and I see I got a big tom and a snare. I use a 1 16th snare on a cat run. You see the cat trail? 
Okay, I'll see if I can get them out. Beautiful big bobcat. Nice color on his belly. And this set up here, he was going from pines up here where the rabbits feed and he had a perfect trail going. So I set up a snare and it connected. I like to use 1 16th on cats and 3 32nd on coyote. Um, what I do is I like to boil my traps to get the dull tinge off. You can use uh, baking soda and then I'll dip them in a, like a brown dye or KB all quick dye, a black dip. Let that dry and then I'll put it in full metal jacket scent free. You don't have to be too particular with cats. Their smell, they don't really care about the smell. And so, this is trapping in northern Minnesota. And so, they usually have like a really beautiful belly. And he's about 25, 30 pound big cat. Okay, this is what I usually look for, a really nice fox trail. And you can see where the fox is going right up through. And what I want to do is try to find a place to hang a snare. Now you can see what this is, is just a snowmobile trail. And the fox will run up and down it. This is groom trail. So what I'm going to do is actually try to find a spot where I can go in and see if I can find a place to hang a snare. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now, I have my trail. I blocked it off, and now I want to hang my snare on the trail. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my wire, my guide wire. That's a 10 gauge wire. I'm going to wrap it up. There, now you can see it's right where I want it. Now I gotta staple it down to the tree.
There. Now that's all set. Now you can see. There's the perfect fox trail. You can see the trail just runs right up through. And I put all my guide, kind of guide them in, staple it off to the tree. <coughs> and that should be good. Okay, now what I have here is you can see a perfect fox trail coming up and he's going up the hill now what I think I'm gonna do is right there is I believe I want to put a snare right in there it's just a perfect spot so let me get it set up I'll set a snare there and then I'll come back and I'll take a video of the snare setup okay now what I have here is you can see a perfect fox trail 